Hello and welcome to another one of those videos where I talk about updates in the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress coming from Toady and Kit Fox. This time we're going to be talking about drawbridges and some glass objects and a few decorations. Should be good. Let's jump right in. So in the very center of this very small fortress, you can see a drawbridge. Also, once again, I love the way the multi-Z levels in this tile set look. But anyway, right in the very center, you can see a drawbridge. It is one Z level higher than kind of the base level where the stockpile is. It kind of looks like it's floating in space, which, you know, I kind of wish it had a little bit more of an indicator that it was a bridge, maybe like a railing or something. It, it kind of just looks like a missing texture where it's supposed to connect at the at the bottom of it because here's the thing in the very center of the screen right and it does kind of look like there's something missing here that being said as far as something that is simple and going to very easily fill a purpose I, I think it looks quite nice I think if it's connecting to another let piece of land instead of just floating midair it'll look a lot nicer uh, what do you guys think of this shot of the drawbridge the next one is going to be it lifted up so it's going to be connected to a lever and there's that image right here. So now you can see right in front of the door, down in kind of the uh, bottom center of the screen, you can see the uh, drawbridge itself lifted up and now in a wall format. Also kind of in the upper left of the fortress, there is a small lever which is connected to the drawbridge as well as that stone door in the middle. Actually, I, I don't think we've seen too many stone doors. I actually really like that door. That's something that I think hasn't really been highlighted here. But anyway, um, so now, now you can see the, the lever that is connected to the drawbridge as it's lifted up. I think that the drawbridge when it's closed looks great. I think when it's down, I still feel like it's missing a texture somewhere. It, fe it feels like it's missing something, maybe shading. It, it's, it, it feels off to me about, like some, something feels off to me about it. Um, that, that being said, you know, these are drawbridges, right? So when they're down, they're supposed to look like floor. When they're up, they're supposed to look like wall. Um, so I'm curious, what, what do you guys think of the drawbridges and the way they're represented in this tile set? I'd love to know your feedback and comments down in the comments section, and I will do my best to respond to as much of them as I can. Also, shout out to that mini map, which I'm getting more and more excited about the more I see of this, because it looks more and more useful as things go forward. Now this final screenshot is Tarn messing around with a few of the table variations. So in kind of the center, you can see various different tables. One of them is decorated. Sorry about the microphone. One of them is decorated, and then the others just have the different little feetsies connected. So these are uh, variations that we saw posted by Mef on Reddit a little while ago in a previous video. And, uh, you know, once again, as I as I said before, I, I do like the way the, the variations on the furniture look uh, a lot more than weapons, because weapons are the one that I'm actually picky about. But when it comes to the furniture and stuff I think that these variations look very nice based on quality they'll be nicer looking tables ones that are studded with gems will be studded with gems if you stud them with rocks they'll look like they're studded with rocks there's also glass t tables down beneath and uh yeah, so Tarn goes on to talk about in the post about how different contaminants are going to affect things, kind of assuming that they haven't seen the video that I made or the posts that Meth made over on Reddit and the forums. So, you know, there's that. Maybe you guys are a little bit ahead of the other audiences. Um, once again, if you want to see tons more videos on the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress, there's a whole playlist on this YouTube channel now. It's getting a little bit ridiculous how many of them I have now. So this is more stuff that we've seen, uh, so my feelings haven't changed. I like the looks of the variations on the tables. The different feet for them are really nice, and the glass tables look very nice as well. I really like that stone door once again. So uh, if you have any thoughts on the stuff that we've seen in this update post, uh, please leave a comment down in the description, as I asked already previously. Uh, I, I do read everything, so I don't get that many comments on this YouTube channel, and uh, I like to respond. Um, also, Tarn notes in the post that um, all of the dwarves in this fortress died uh, because he forgot to turn off uh, the fast debug mode where things would happen quicker and events would happen faster and he got invaded by 17 goblins even though it was only early spring and so everybody got murdered uh, which is very dwarfy and uh, you know honestly it's as it should be one final note that I would like to say uh, before I dip out today is that uh, Victoria, the community manager of Kit Fox Games, is moving on to f to new employment, so I just would like to say thank you very, very much for an awesome t experience and time uh, kind of loosely working with you, Victoria, over the past year or so, kind of uh, speaking back and forth about Dwarf Fortress-related things and other Kit Fox-related things. It's been wonderful working with you, and I, I, I hope that you end up somewhere where I get to continue to communicate with you in the future because it's been fantastic going back and forth. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, there's tons in the YouTube channels I already mentioned. And if you want to watch my streams and you like the sound of my voice, I'm on Twitch six days a week, every single day of the week, except for Fridays, except sometimes I stream Fridays anyways, because I, well, 
need to learn how to sleep more. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.